What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Tyson Fury is focused 100% on his trilogy match with Deontay Wilder, and if he can win that fight, then he'll be looking for who's next. Of course, they know there's a lot of talks between Fury and Anthony Joshua for an undisputed heavyweight showdown in 2021, okay? Or late 2020 or whatnot, but 2021, <laughs> Okay, but Tyson is having none of it. He's only worried about fighting Wilder and he's not going to take his eyes off the prize. Boxing fans don't want to see Fury face Wilder, but they have no control over the matter. Wilder has a rematch clause in his contract from his previous fight against Fury in February. Okay, at the time of the fight, the 6'7 De uh, Deontay Wilder was the WBC heavyweight champion. Deontay Wilder made sure that he had a rematch clause in the contract for the third contest between the two. He says, Tyson says this, he says, the only thing I'm con concentrating on right now is fighting Deontay Wilder for a third time and being uh, victorious in that fight because I never look past any opponent and especially not, not one as dangerous as Wilder. He needs the utmost respect because he is a great champion and he is one of the most fierce punchers in boxing, said Fury. The rest of those guys, I'm not too concerned about. Mm. Now, let me counterpunch, okay? This is really a reiteration of what Tyson Fury's already said. He's already said this before. He's already said, you know, I don't want to end up like White, okay? If you guys can remember that. You know, um, he will be focused on Deontay Wilder. And he says, you know, he's not worried about these other fighters. He says that Deontay Wilder is one of the fierce punchers in boxing right now. I believe that. But he says that he's not overlooking Deontay Wilder. And let me counterpunch Tyson Fury by saying, I don't believe you. Okay. Let me, let, let, let me, under, let, let me explain why. If you weren't. How do I put this? If you were so concentrated on Deontay Wilder, there wouldn't even be any talks about Anthony Joshua. That wouldn't have made national news to over two months ago. Global news in the boxing world that you agreed to fight Anthony Joshua. If you're already talking about fighting Anthony Joshua, and Anthony Joshua damn sure has like two mandatories after that, you know, and he, he had two mandatories, which was dealing in white if he beat Povetkin, which he had, which he didn't. And he has to fight Deontay Wilder. So you might as well say two mandatories because that was supposed to have been a mandatory fight the, the second time they fought, right? When he fought Wilder, which was BS. Okay? But it doesn't matter because he still has to fight the man. So what I'm saying is, if you were that focused, 100% focused, how can you convince us of that when you've already made negotiations with Anthony Joshua? And I know that pissed a lot of people off that were those uh, fanatical fans uh, of Deontay. I just looked at it as a sign of overlooking him because I think that's what he did. He's seen how well he did the second fight, and I think he's taking that for cash value. Okay. He can tell us whatever he wants He can because I think that's assurance. Maybe he's trying to speak it, believe it, and receive it for himself. However, I think he's overlooking Wilder because he wouldn't have made a, a deal with Joshua before fighting Wilder. Unless you were just that sure that you were going to do that same thing again, which I'm sure he is. Okay? So I think Tyson should stop the fucking bullshit and just realize that... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm overlooking Wilder. I'm going to batter him. I'm going to, you know, he's going to do all the things that he said he's going to do. I'll beat him for free. I'm not taking step aside money. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. He's confident. You know what I mean? I haven't really seen him cocky, but I mean, you know, it's Tyson Fury. But I do think, you know, he is not 100% focused on Deontay Wilder. I think he's looking past Deontay Wilder or around Deontay Wilder. You know, based on what we've already known about his negotiations with a guy that he's already, you know, listen, let me, let, let me break it. Let, let me explain it in another way. Tyson Fury fighting Anthony Joshua. When you, when someone comes to you and I, cause I know, you know, his managers, you got Bob, you got Frank, you have his, the rest of his team. I get that. But at the end of the day. 
you're looking at a guy that has to be focused on money and dollars and cents and venues and such before accepting something. So you had to be all that guy had to be on your mind to already to already be in negotiating negotiation with him. You're negotiating with this guy. So your 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 team is that means you're interested and you're focused to a certain degree on that particular uh, um, negotiation. OK, so. Mind you, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Yeah, they got a fight coming, but they don't know where they're going to fight. They don't know where the venue is going to be. They don't know where it's going to be at. They don't know what country is going to be in. OK, more than likely it'll be in the U.S. of A., and then the coronavirus is coming and spreading and messing everything up. So we really don't know what's going to happen. So I, if I'm Tyson Fury and I'm supposed to be 100% focused on Deontay Wilder and everything regarding what's going on right now, why would I be worried about Anthony Joshua or not right now? Don't get me wrong. I was just as happy as anybody else to hear that. But it did let me know, like, whoa, you're overlooking Wilder, despite you don't even have a venue yet. You're supposed to have a date. But that's if everything goes to plan, because then talks change from that. They're supposed to be fighting next year, pushed to February and all this, that and the other for extra revenue and stuff. So but then you had time to talk to Joshua's people about uh, undisputed fight. You see what I'm saying? No, you can't be 100% focused on Wilder. I don't care if you're 95 or 75% focused on Wilder. You are still focused on another opponent other than Wilder, so you can't be 100% focused on Wilder. But I could be wrong. We'll see. You guys tell me what you think about Tyson Fury's statement. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.